Welcome back everybody, your typical bull here, and we are coming back at you with another video. Uh, before we get into it though, well, please do remember to like, subscribe, and leave your con comments, and if the channel helps you, please consider supporting it through the YouTube membership program by subscribing to the channel. Uh, it costs $4.99 a month, you get some cool emojis, and uh, you get top highlighted comments which may become subjects of my videos or if you'd rather support me through patreon i'd appreciate that as well uh, so we're going to be talking about tape reading and the level two we're going to take a little break from my options and we may still be doing some options in the middle of our tape reading courses because these i have not um really written up yet so i'm kind of doing these write-ups and everything and making these videos in between everything but uh, tape reading is a skill that's kind of dying but it's still very relevant and it can actually give you a much better edge in your intraday trades than you would have normally as well as give you a kind of it's sort of an edge um, and get better entries for your swing trading so uh, what is tape reading it's um, tape reading is the art of studying price action as it happens based on the data in the level two box using the tape you can find imbalances in supply and demand in order to help you find entries and exits for your trades based on this information tape reading gives you access to the actual bids and offers and the volume traded at certain prices this is what we call the order flow and price candles and indicators are by nature a lagging indicators, right? Because the orders and everything already have to go through before those candles can print. Uh, the tape is basically like the intraday chart of the candles. So like a one minute candle, the tape reading would be the intraday chart. It's all of the orders that happen to make that one minute candle print on your screen. Um, it does give you it gives you a real-time picture of what buyers and sellers are doing and where they are at it allows you to see buying and selling as it happens this can improve your ability to read the tape and will give you access to better entries and exits and allow you to minimize your risk and maximize your returns tape reading is an art that many technical traders feel is not necessarily in necessary in today's markets and although it has become more difficult just because of the sheer volume that's traded today, it does still you give you some advantage, advantages that other traders do not have. It will give you access to plays oftentimes before the charts will give you the same signals with the same precision. Um, it's important because it gives you more of an edge than you would otherwise have. It's basically as simple as that. It is another tool in your trading belt that will allow you to get better entries and exits. Uh, before trading charts were actually even a thing, before you could just hop on your computer and pop up a chart at Google or Spy or Apple, the tape was all that these people had. It would scroll by on a big screen stuck on the wall and charts and indicators, they just didn't exist. So this is how people traded before this stuff existed. And this is different than just reading charts. Candlesticks will show you three things. They show you the price range. That would be the high and the low. They show you the, where the price opened and they show you where the price closes. They don't show you how the bids and offers actually caused those prices to happen uh, or the price levels that were very high volume. And if you know these things, you can have an edge when you read the tape you can see where their buyers and sellers are resting you can see levels that they're participating at you can see supply and demand in real time you can find big buyers or big sellers and get a feel for a stock's strength or weakness and if you're playing a stock that looks weak on the charts but your bid is having a hard time getting hit it could be a clue that there's not many sellers and you can actually see where those sellers are sitting here and the weakness that it's showing on the chart could actually not be a weakness at all. So don't get me wrong, charts are very, very valuable tools. They're amazing, but when you combine charts with your indicators and then you combine tape reading as well, you'll have an added edge that most people 
don't have. They don't take the time to learn this stuff, so they don't have that. Um, so it's not, like I said, it's not a science. It's not going to be exactly the same patterns printing every single time like you get with indicators and candlesticks. Like, it's very obvious RSI's overbought at 70, RSI's oversold at 30. It's, you can't really... This is more of an art form, right? But the more you practice it and the more you actually watch these prints as they happen, the better you're going to get at it. It's not something that you just learn instantly. It takes a while. And with practice, it's going to get better and better every single time. It's very simple at its ba in its basics, but it, like I said, it's going to take a long time to master. Um... So how does this actually help you get better entries? So a one-a-minute candle is, we kind of already talked about this, is an intraday chart. Reading the tape is basically the intraday chart for the one-minute candle, what caused the candle to play out the way it has. Every single order that went into drawing the candle on your chart will print right here. And it will allow you to not wait for the next candle to close to confirm a pattern because you can actually see if the pattern is going to confirm before it actually does it. So this is actually the same chart I was just looking at here. I printed it up on my little write-up here. You can see if we scroll back there was a big buyer accumulating shares at 40.89 so we had to scroll back quite a bit here. See here he is, 4089. There's a thousand shares printed. Every time this touches 4089, this guy's accumulating shares, accumulating shares, accumulating shares. And it doesn't fall below that 4089. So if you had jumped in here on this 4090 until that buyer stopped accumulating at 4089, you could have rode this thing all the way up here to 4149 right where there's another big buyer just kind of resting here right so if you had put if you still want to stay in this you could run your stop a couple of cents below this big buyer and if that does break then you can get out there right so it'll get you access to better risk to rewards and better entries you can see here on your chart also that this volume is kind of picking up here also where this big buyer is accumulating all of these shares and this is the kind of things that tape reading will show you. Um, tape reading will improve your skills at reading the charts. We just kind of talked about that just now because you have access to the supply and demand in real time. We Like you can see here the big buyer is accumulating shares and he won't allow the price to go below 4089. So if you get in at 4090, it's a pretty good bet that this guy's going to keep the pushing the price above 4089. It allows you to keep a tight stop and you can identify long-term price levels like even on your daily charts. If you find like this level here is a very important level on a daily chart. When this price gets here to this level, you can watch and see how buyers and sellers are reacting to that level and it can kind of give you a better indication of whether that level is going to hold or whether it's going to break. Um, so basically we kind of already talked about this. To get better at it, you just watch the tape. Uh, you can actually record trades as you take them if you're a day trader and then later you can go back and watch those videos and watch how the tape like price responds at certain levels and how the tape kind of makes the price move so this will give you less stress a less stressful environment since you're not actually trading you can just really focus on studying the tape and what it does to the price um, so that's pretty much going to be about it for this introduction. Tape reading will give you an advantage, a very big advantage that most traders don't have. It can allow you to really fine tune your entries and exit and see where buyers and sellers are sitting. As a day trader, it can be really, really helpful to see things, especially if you're trading on the one minute candles because you can see kind of where a chart's going to go before it actually gets there. And as a swing trader, it can allow you to find these key levels and just see how buyers and sellers are reacting to those key levels in real time. Um, and it would allow you to get better entries than you would normally get. 
So once again, I do really appreciate you guys for um, hanging out with me for this long. If this video helped you, please do leave your comments down below and consider subscribing the channel and be sure and click that thumbs up button. Um, and with that, we will see you in the next one. Cheers.